So what is the real name of God and what is the real name of Jesus? Y'all, let me tell you that I'm not about to say what you think I'm going to say. If there's one thing that I keep seeing over and over again on social media, it's the division in the body of Christ because of this argument over the real name of Jesus. This has got to stop and I'm about to spit some knowledge for y'all today. Just because you hear someone say something on social media or somebody does a podcast on it does not make it true. But just in case you aren't familiar with this subject, here's the problem that's being debated. Many are saying that the name of Jesus isn't correct and we shouldn't be using it, and they have a few reasons. First, the letter J has only been around for about four to five hundred years. And second, back in the fourth century AD, a pagan Roman emperor named Constantine actually took the name of Yeshua and changed it to Jesus. Another argument that came up from the pit of hell is that the name of Jesus actually means Hail Zeus. Which is a complete load of you know what, and I'm about to show you why. All in all, the majority of these people that say that the name of Jesus is wrong simply believe that we should call him by his Aramaic name, which is Yeshua or Yehoshua in Hebrew. Now, let me start by saying that if you choose to call him either of these, that's fine. Do what you want. But right now, I want to shed some light on the power that is in the name of Jesus. First, it's important to understand that Jesus spoke in Aramaic, but the Gospels were written down in Greek. So what happens when you take one language and turn it into another language? Um, oh yeah, you get different translations or transliterations. The name of Yeshua in Aramaic is translated into the standard Greek by the name Jesus. Jesus was the name that was written down by the gospel writers and Paul. And it's mentioned all throughout the ancient Greek translation of the Bible, which is called the Septuagint. Okay, you got all that. So how did we get from Jesus to Jesus? Because yeah, they didn't have the J sound back then. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this one out. Jesus is simply just an English transliteration from Greek. So it went from Aramaic to Greek and Greek to English. Not too hard to understand. And this whole like Hail Zeus nonsense, whether it came from Gematria or Cyphers or anything like that, this false translation is not supported by ancient texts or the original language that the Bible was written in, period. Come on, y'all. It's just not. This is just a deception from the enemy to divide God's people. Do not fall for it. And just think about this. God entrusted these men of the Bible to write down his word through the power of the Holy Spirit. And they themselves didn't think it was important to keep Jesus' original Aramaic name in the text. Did you ever think about that? The same thing goes in the Old Testament when Yahweh is translated into God. But yet Jesus refers to Yahweh as Father more than anything else. So is Jesus wrong? No, absolutely not. So the point that I'm making is that a translation or a transliteration of God or Jesus does not change the power in the name. Just think about when God sends Moses back to Egypt and then Moses asks, who should I say sent me? And God responds, tell him I am sent you. At the end of the day, you're referring to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who sits on the throne, the creator of all. You're referring to God the Father and Jesus, his only begotten son. You're not referring to anything else or worshiping some false name or false god that was indoctrinated by Constantine back in the day. Do you really think that one man could outsmart God? Even Lucifer couldn't do that. Come on now. So why do I believe that there's power in the name of Jesus? First, if you've ever experienced sleep paralysis or been attacked by a demon at night or simply just had a bad dream, what is the one name that these demons try to prevent you from saying? J j j j Jesus. They tried to hold your tongue back because there's power in the name. And also, I don't know one single deliverance minister who casts demons out of people that uses the name of Yeshua. They all use the name of Jesus. And why? Because there's still power in the name. It's not to say that they couldn't use Yeshua because that's still his name. But guess what? Demons still tremble at it. So my point to you is this. Let me read it. Malachi 1, 11. For from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place incense shall be offered unto my name and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord. So the name of Jesus is the name that is great among the nations. If you say the name of Jesus, everyone knows who you're talking about. 
Isaiah 28, 11 says, For with stammering lips and another tongue he will speak to his people. God is not limited by language. He created them all. Do you remember the Tower of Babel? So whether you use Yeshua, Yehoshua, or Jesus, God still knows his children's voice. He knows his name no matter what language you say it in. I'm coming with a warning to you right now that this legalism and borderline Pharisee mindset has got to stop. I rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus.